What's going on guys, Bodie here and welcome to another Team Fortress video by me. Uh, this video is going to be a di bit different. I'm not going to make this video to attempt to entertain people. I'm actually making this video to try and tell you, well tell the viewers, how I actually play the Scout on Orange X3. Orange X3 is a, it's a fairly popular map for some people and once you start playing this, there's a lot of people, myself included, that once you start playing this map, you just think it's the uh -huh. funnest map. Because it's just all around, everything's fun, you can just go kill people, you can go do anything you want, and it's just fun to play. Um, I feel like I am a relatively good scout. I do get a fair few compliments on uh, me playing scout in the server. I also get um, some angry people, but it's understandable. I play the scout, and if you're getting pretty much attacked by a scout, constantly, constantly getting hit by a scout, it is very annoying, I can admit. Luckily, when I actually play the scout, though, uh, it allows me to stay calm when I play the game because I just think to myself, if I get annoyed, mini century, body shotted by Sydney sweepers, whatever the hell, then I can stay calm simply because I'm annoying. Pe In a way, I'm playing an annoying class, so I can't really complain about anything. So, I mean, if I start complaining and someone just says, well, you're playing scout, I'm just there like, yeah, you've won the argument already. But yeah, so this video is going to be me trying to talk to everyone saying what goes through my mind as I play the actual server and well as I actually get into gunfights and how I take the situation to um, try and bring the fights into my favour and to try and die as little as possible. I'm currently in the middle of a game, I'm on 102 kills to 21 deaths which is, I've had better but that is actually pretty good, I mean it's obviously not bad but that's quite good for me so I can't exactly say it's anything bad. I'm going to quickly show you my setup just so you know how I'm playing. Uh, I'm currently actually playing the game on, um, I don't know what's happened here. I'm currently playing on 720p to record this video. Normally I play on 1080, so that means that my sensitivity is actually slightly lower than it would normally be, so my aim might be off at times. Apologies for this, but I'll try my best to adapt to it. Uh, but I'll just quickly show you my... Um, th these are the items that I highly recommend that you have for uh, playing Scout. If you use any other gun apart from the Scout gun, I don't know why you do. I've tried them all. They're all so bad. The Scout, the main things to do with the Scout is dodging, aim... And just harassing at the right times and not running straight into a heavy's minigun unless you know you can take them out. I do that at times. I charge straight into heavies, but I know for a fact that I'm going to win the fight unless they get crits. Because I know they're aiming at someone maybe behind me. And as soon as they switch to me, I'll already have like jumped over them or something. Then they're just moving the gun all over the place and they can't hit me. But the scatter gun, definitely recommend it. As for the pistol, I wouldn't recommend using any of these guillotines, this pistol or this pistol. It's either that pistol or one of these. Uh, Mad Milk's actually okay. I kind of like the Mad Milk, but I much prefer the pistol because I feel if I pick someone down to low health and they're running away from me, I can pick them off across the map. Also, if you get a crit pistol, you can take anybody out at any time. Bonk Atomic Punch, it's not that great. I'd say it's only good if you're actually trapped in on Orange X3 in the actual side. As for the Atomizer, I think this is by far the best weapon on the scout, without a doubt as a bat. Uh, the reason is... That triple jump is so amazingly good for juking people. It also gives me a little shh, never mind, not a shortcut anymore now. It makes it longer. I don't normally do that jump, but pretty much if you've got that triple jump, you can just juke so easy. So this guy's on fire. He's going for the health pack down. There. So if he just starts to go, just blast him. It's just a free throw. Right, okay, so I looked to the right and I saw no one. This guy's coming from there, so I need to be there. One rocket on there. Right, this guy's going to come for me. So if I were here, I can probably get a surprise blast down. He's actually run the other way, so now he's not running. So now he's just like that, I can survive. Now, my health is still good. Uh, there is some slight adaptions to the server I play. There's a health pack here, there is a 100 crate there, there is a 25% just down there, etc, etc. And they are some things, right? So I don't go straight up, because that's what he wants me to do, because if I go straight up, he will just simply get a full blast. I can get his health pack up, I'm fine. I, can get, I just stand still. I'm surprised he's still alive, actually. He's going to come down there, so there we go. And my aim is atrocious. Well, this guy's pretty cool, so. Yeah. Uh, pretty much when someone when the scout's doing that to you, you just can't land the ball. Unless he drops down, then we can go in. No, he didn't go in, but yeah, I've got a sniper on me, so I just want to dodge, but something hit me then, prevented me from actually moving, and I'm gonna lose that fight. So let's drop down here. Pick up the health pack. Get my health pack. Yeah, I can really notice that my sensitivity is actually affecting me. That guy just stood still. That's something you should never ever do with scout. If you're getting shot, oh I shouldn't have that. I did, I should have picked it up. Like the guy had lower health, so. Should have left that for him, but like this, if I jump in here, it's just the scout, he's dead, so I'm completely fine now. So now I'm out in the open, every sniper's probably going to look at me, but this guy I can probably pick off. So, I got two decent blasts, but there is uh, two scouts on me, so I should retreat. If they follow me, it's always good when you're dominating, I'm actually dominating no one now, because I'm on AK for ages, but... Uh, if they're actually following me and uh, they're dot and I know that I'm dominating them, they will follow me all the way to the end. And pretty much I can just walk myself into that doorway. And I've closed my screen. I've swapped my sensitivity down to 720. So unfortunately now, am I dead? 
Yeah, I, I won't. Uh, because I'm on 720, um, if I move my mouse too fast to the right, it moves onto my second screen temporarily. I've got two monitors running. And it just automatically takes down my game. And I, it takes me about seven seconds to bring it back up. But in that time, I'm on the So this guy, two amazingly good blasts at the start. He should be okay. So that's the I mean, I'm on 115 health, and that was from a small one. But I mean, if he gets a crit on me, obviously you're dead. But if you run in, you get two good blasts. Just pursue them. Very fair enough. They're just an easy kill. But. Uh, at the moment, I can't actually play as good as I would want to. So now I need to get away because there was a level 3 sentry gun there. I could take that out, but I have not Okay, now I can definitely take it out. So you're running. He'll come in. I need a free kill. And a scout. A good blast on him. I'm going to run away because there's another scout coming. And I'm going to pop out and I'm going to And now I'm low. So I can stay. Never ever show weakness when you're a scout. You can always turn fights around like that. It can happen to me, but never show. Never turn your back and run away as a scout. I think you can actually run faster if I'm running forwards than if I was running backwards, but always put pressure on them because if you like i mean you could pull out your pistol if you get crit pistol you're in there. if you're always putting pressure on them they'd never know when you're low on health and they will start to like respect you as a person like you'll res they'll respect you as a scout and then they just won't rush in this guy so, this guy's probably not so please be careful with that so like coming up i'm gonna die just dodge yes right so we pick this guy back up this is another mod twice so oh he's one life point did you see that i play with my uh, damage um up top because i prefer to stand there so I I took the scar, I did stand still to do it unfortunately, so I didn't know that Demon Man was behind me, but um, that's one of the good players on the team, I need to know that for a fact, I never actually go up against him again, he knows how to play Demon Man well, I need to put my dodging to really good, otherwise he will predict every movement I do, and pretty much two bombs to the face, I'm dead, one bomb close up, the damage off him will do, and we've won the game, so that was uh, fairly interesting, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to... Um, Oh, oh, come on, let's look at that. Yes, oh, I hit detection. I'm just going to go F2 for this because I actually just want to play. Now, you may have seen then, I did actually do a triple jump with the Atomizer straight up onto their, um, this thing. So, I'll quickly show you this. I don't know how long I'm going to make this video for, but if you use the Atomizer, you get these extra jumps into the game. So, if I can jump this now, I'll somehow fail it. But normally, if I triple jump on here, I'll jump straight up. I'll just do it again this game quickly, but... The Atomizer allows me to have so many more jumps in the game. Like, I did show you that one earlier. You can actually just triple jump that. I failed that, man, but I decided not to try and do it because I always seem to fail the triple jump. But, I mean, from here, you just jump, you jump, and then you have to jump and crouch at the same time for the last one. Last triple jump. I mean, if I'm on the blue team and I come running in there, right, okay, so Pyro's coming out. I don't do the health pack to my left, so if I just run in now, and he's still. <laughs> that was pretty bad for me because I literally stood in this flame for what like a second and then obviously the power is like um, I don't know maybe 100 damage per second or something so all my health went I, I did think about my teammate there but obviously he took the health pack so I just got uh, killed but I shouldn't have actually took that much damage there my first um, hit should have killed him so dodge that and then he's pretty much useless like, he, he, didn't, he didn't have his gun out scouts if they don't have their scatter gun out charge into them do not run straight into a scout with the pistol out if he's shooting his pistol at you you're dead so he's low health now so I quickly finish him off and this guy has a pistol up. Watch out for that sentry gun. I'm gonna go this way. This is actually a health pack. See if I can get it. I'm shooting weakness now, so obviously. Okay, I got body shotted, so I'm dead. It's dead, but because I didn't even shoot back and I just ran, it's just all you have to do is put your crosshair on them and shoot them. It's dead easy. And because if it's a scout and a scout, you just hold your trigger on someone and you'll run at the same pace as them. So if I quickly jump up here, this scout comes that drops down, I can show you. This guy looks smashed to me, so let's quickly just take him out. Um, Retreat from that. Pyro, will he come for me? No. Okay, so if I can get up behind him, two blasts in the back, and he's dead. Right now, that 25 should respawn before Bane kills me. So if I don't know, there we go. So I've redeemed that. I think this guy's low health, so I can take him out. But I know there's only the scout up here, so I need to be pretty careful with scout. One blast in there. So if I dodge, I'm going to drop that. I think he's going to take the health back. He didn't, so I can take him out from the front. My triple jump to go there. No, I just have to retreat. Yeah, I just have to retreat from that. Um, the scout was very low, but as soon as the demo man comes in, demo mans are actually a good one to actually try and um, dodge because obviously if they've got the. Uh, as soon as they pull out the sticky bombs, you're screwed. I mean, sk sticky bombs, you just have to try and triple predict them depending on how good the. Uh, actual demo man is but you know that situation is uh, pretty difficult to play now right now the entire blue team is up against me so if i'm playing extremely aggressively i've got arrows everyone on me so i know there's the health pack here so i can run really aggressively and take this guy out so i didn't but I, 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 I cleanse the air fire 
instantly. Right, so I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna find a few more again, so I can take a blast. He might follow me, so yeah, I can see the point that's now emptied. I wasn't supposed to fall there, but mistakes were made, so I know once again, I need to actually just go straight in now and try and find this ball. I missed the first shot, I missed the second, I missed, I didn't hit anyone there, so just get out. You're not gonna kill him, it's just gonna be you dying, so you just have to play it. In a way, <clears throat> like... I'm not really sure how to describe a situation like If you jump in trying to be a hero to try and defend the point and you just go in, you get hit by a rocket and then you miss two blasts direct up, that's it. You can't win. They'll just put a rocket at the floor and you're dead. So I survived, but I tried to go back in. And as you can see, that's me. That's me against the world right now. It's 1v5 if I jump into a situation like that. Like that. And the odds of me surviving something like that is pretty insane. Now, these are both on fire, so I can probably take them as well. Using the atomizer to um, jump back and forth. We'll get body shot I'm dead, but... Enough. You can also use one thing that I, I don't really see a lot of scouts doing, maybe because we just don't bother with it, but um, the high mobility of a scout allows me to just drop back there and um, just pick up health. And as you can see someone in the chat says, why is it so hard to kill me? I'm actually not playing that fantastically normally. I can. I mean, I made a video once and I killed like 20 people and didn't die once, which is quite nice. Now, I'm not going to cut the point right now because they're pushing forward, so even if I cut the point, they'll just kill me and cut right back. So if I kill the snipers... Right, I'm gonna see this after the sniper. Had to get the sniper out of the way. Uh, snipers, this is Orange X. One snipe, one enemy sniper can take out five of your teammates in a row. And it's just, it's, uh, in my opinion, if you take the snipers out, your team can push out so much easier. Because they just sit at the back and only the other snipers can take them out. But if a scout can get close and take the snipers out, it makes it easy for our snipers to take out the enemies. Blah, 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 etc. You can get out the um, situation. So now, of course, we've turned it around. We're now back in control at this point. We've not actually capped it yet, but we have enough defense to get to take it. So can we take out this demo map? I'm not sure what route he's taking, I can't find him, but he's down here, so I'm just going to take him out. This should be a uh, easy one. Well, I can't play him, my sensitivity change is really messing up. So, at that point, I stood still. There was a sniper right behind me, so I am actually quite lucky to be alive. I'm not going to rush that because he'll probably kill me, so I'll go up behind and I'll fight him instead. He saw it coming, so he was ready for me. Now, eh, not really worth rushing or something like that, so we're going to chase down this guy instead. I was alright, we got the scout, but then the demo man, I didn't really re re react quick enough for the fact that he was actually there in the area, so of course, bomb to the face is what you get, and I just die in that situation, but we got the scout, the scout was the main problem, and unfortunately we haven't kept the point as you can see, so... Uh, that's another thing, so I mean, I don't really go into detail, okay, so now I need to be careful. There's a scout there, he's got a um, scary looking hat on, so I am just going to respect him by default for having that, because he might be a uh, fairly um, uh, avid scout player, maybe. So now it's pretty much once again, I need to find out what I've got. Pyro there, I've got two scouts up against me, I've got no shit for it. So I'm going to step out the fight for a bit, recharge, and then if I can come in from an angle and take something out. So we get the sniper. You may think that's just me going for a free kill there, but the sniper's like I said, they're really good to it. And right now, I've clicked off my screen again, so I'm dead, so I apologize once again for that. I'm dead here, but uh, I took out the sniper. I think I took out another, was it the pyro or something? Because I was at the back, nobody aims at me from the back, so if I can just. Play it cool and just aim and focus on aiming. You can take people out in the back, and obviously it's just it just allows my team. I mean, it all it does depend, of course, on the team has to be in the to be decent. So the, uh, the, this guy, I was gonna chase him down with the pistol because I knew he wasn't gonna fight. What the hell is going on? I'm taking so much damage from everyone. Let's jump there, double jump this. Um, fail to jump. Okay, we group. Okay, another one with the atomizer. You can actually double jump this, but if you run into a sentry. You die, but you can triple jump that if the sniper's aiming at you and you do that, they'll probably miss the shots, which is good. But I mean, if you ever see the crosshair of a sniper, like the blue dot right now for me, aiming at you, you know he's going to be aiming at you until you disappear off the screen. So you play differently, you just dodge. Don't aim, don't focus on anything but dodging. So. Okay, so that was kind of, like he said there, he showed weakness, he disappeared without even aiming anything at me. So here, I could take that, I could possibly, okay, never mind, this is it. should be a good kill. Okay, so I took out the scout instead of the pirate there. I'm not sure how that happened, but because the scout jumped in on me, we both traded a full blast. And then, okay, so I need to be careful here. This is what he wants me to do. I know there's a sentry. Oh, no, move! Oh, never! What the hell gun was he using then? Was he using that? I think it was like, and then stopped and then and shot again, but yeah, if I had it. What the hell was this? Whatever, that's it. But yeah, that scout, he blocked me, so it was more difficult for me to actually uh, do anything. So, I'll do one more life unless um, I die here. But this is just a scout battle. So, right here, I, it's just a battle of aim. And right now, my aim is going to be quite bad. So, 
Now there's two of them. Yeah, I've got one, I have 119 health, so I can quite easily take it second. So I just wait for that situation to happen. But as you can see, overall on that, I took six. Here's the heavy. Heavy was there, I was I ran straight in it. This is dangerous, this is very dangerous for me. It's not there. I know this is sentry, but the pyro there is a sniper. I got a bit of a blast out there, so that might kill someone, but because of the dispenser up there, of course, I can't really rely on this guy's fire. So we're gonna have a look and we're gonna go to the scout. I'm gonna try and take out this sentry gun before the end of the video, that'd be quite good, but I don't think I can. This is a free kill. I missed the second shot, that's pretty good. Okay, two engineers, no chance here. Yeah, pretty much one cap the gun, and then I'll just shoot the gun loads and whatever. So, see how long this last life actually um, lasts me, but uh, I, I can't go up there. That's all off limits, so I can go around here and I can just use that spawn. So, here's the triple jump to go into this space. In my server, there is a um, there's a uh, thing there. Now, for snipers, well, I have to get out of here definitely, so I'm going to get the pop pack. No, I'm not. Oh, I can take this guy's off. Oh, there's one. I just have to try and outplay this guy. He's like one health there, so the health pack first. Oh, I'm just about to shoot the bullet on the seas. Okay, he picked up the health pack, but I was about to shoot the bullet and I could have got it. But in that situation, if one of them jumped back into the base and rehealed and came back out, there's nothing I can really do except sit there and slowly wait to die. But as soon as I got that health pack, I probably would have attempted to escape. But that's kind of what I mean by don't show weakness. If I simply just escaped, they would have um, jumped back out over at me. Is this guy going to come up? Triple blast there, so that was just another scout on the um, scout situation. But okay. so I'm actually just like, oh, and I'm dead. I'm not dead. Look, that pirate did very little damage to me. This should respawn before I die. So fire, fire, if I get lucky fire. here, which I hope to get there, go. So that's just another life save. And then if I get reach, okay, I can't do it anymore because it's nice to take the time. But yeah, there's my last life. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I will probably do another one where I try and go into depth. I mean, I can't, it's difficult. I mean, you have to understand. I live commentated everything now. I was talking at the same time as playing. It's difficult to concentrate on aim, play at the same time, and commentate at the same time. But uh, also the fact that my um, aim was off because my sensitivity was changed simply because of playing on um, 720 instead of 1080 was uh, uh, a small handicap, I guess, to me. I could guess I could use that word. But yeah, I mean. Hopefully you can watch that and pick up some tips from me and then, well, not really some tips, but hopefully just some things that you can actually do in the game. I will try and go into uh, more depth in another video. Maybe I'll just record myself playing, commentate over how I deal with every class, but I mean, I can go into detail on how to deal with all the classes like Demo Man. Simply for Demo Man, you stand, it, depending on how good the Demo Man is, if he has the uh, grenade launcher, right, you just stand still and go blast, blast, blast. And he will, he, I mean, you don't expect anyone to stand still as Scout. I mean, you can stand there like that, dodging sideways, and the hit detection team fortunately makes it difficult to hit that. But if I'm fighting a demo man, he's expecting that, so he's going to try and predict my movement and put a bomb in my face. If I stand still, his bombs are going to go to the side, to the side, maybe to the side again. But I mean, if you miss twice, the next one will probably come to you, so you can just go like that. And then, of course, like that. you can jump with the third jump, but you can also jump towards him away and all that. But you have to be careful. As soon as you've dropped your last jump, don't be in the air, or the bomb will hit you in the face, and you are dead. But yeah, I think next video, if I actually do do another one, uh, we can go into a detail of um, how I actually deal with uh, all the classes in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but it's quite basic for the majority of it, but yeah, it's difficult to explain lots of different situations in the game. The main videos for this video is just know exactly all your little, like, um, exploit jumps. So if I get body shot here, whatever, but you can triple jump onto here, you can triple jump into the window, and then, of course, there's all that stuff up there, so unfortunately, um, I'll just quickly suicide to show you this, but I mean, you can actually, you can double jump to there. But you can double jump to there, don't need the atomizer. But if you've got a sniper on you, like that guy was, if I triple if I jump out to the side, then back, it's a lot harder for him to shoot me. Unfortunately for this game, there was a sentry gun at the top, which does counter. I mean I can talk about scout counters a lot, but I mean everyone can counter the scout, but most of the times you can have the advantage. But unfortunately there is a sentry gun on the top. It is difficult to play because you can't actually go into every area, unfortunately. But pretty much that is the video. No idea how long this is. Hopefully it was actually enjoyable to watch. But there you go. That's a tiny bit about how I play the scout. If I decide to make another one, I'll try not to repeat myself constantly, but yeah, hopefully you can see some things of how I play over I, like when I pick fights and when I decide to get out of fights and you can obviously spot some of my mistakes as well. Um, whatever, whatever. You can say I'm try hard and if you want, I mean, this is just how I play games. I can't, I mean, if I play a game, I'm always trying to play well rather than just play sloppy and all that and just do bad. But yeah, I mean, 140 kills, 34 deaths. I think I did 31 kills to like 13 deaths, so it's not bad. Not too bad, but yeah, it's quite a good game. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you all later and yeah, take care.